Hello all you beautiful people, how are you doing today? This is Lava Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! Today we're going to be talking about another Sky Factory 4 tutorial, and this one is on the black hole units. So we're going to talk about the units, the controller, ways to use them, and even the black hole tank, which is for fluids. So let's get started. First of all, let's go over the recipes. So we're going to need a machine case, and you might already know how to make this, but, you know, just in case somebody wants it from full, I try to go over all the recipes. So this one is just four iron ingots, four planks, it doesn't have to be oak, and a block of redstone that'll give us a machine case. Now with that, we're going to take an ender pearl, two eyes of ender, and plastic. If you don't know how to make the plastic, I have a tutorial specifically on that, so check that one out. And two chests. So that will make the black hole unit, which is uh, these right here. So these are pretty awesome. And we'll get into that in just a minute. So to make the controller, you're going to take an ender chest, four plastic, another of the machine casings, two pink slimes, and a block of diamond. And that'll give us this controller, which the controller is really cool because it fits 12 of the black hole units in one block. So this block right here, and we're going to demonstrate that with that. Uh, but let's see, what else do we need? So for the tank one, you're going to do three plastic, two eyes of ender, an ender pearl, two buckets, and another machine case. And that will make the tank. And last, we have these cool little labels, and each, this recipe makes four, so that's pretty cool. And that's going to be six plastic, two paper, and a piece of redstone. So these labels are pretty cool, because as you can see here, you know, you can't see what's in here. So let's take something, let's actually take and put MA glass cables on here. Well, in order to see what's in here, you actually have to click on the unit. But if you pop a label on it, and you have to... Hold down shift and then put it on. It'll actually show you what's in the unit, which is pretty cool. Now give me those back because I need those for something else. So thank you. All right. Now the same works for if you put it on the tank and the tank will show you how many buckets it has. So I've set up the tank over here. So if we put on here, now you can see we have 26 buckets of experience and I just set this up with the XP drain um, and the tap but the tap it's all the fluids going directly into here so of course you can click on it and see how much is in here or you can look at the label and I like that on the side it gives you uh, the color of whatever the fluid is which is pretty cool all right so the black hole units these are what you're going to use quite a bit of so what I've done here is I set up a little ME system, and again, I have a full tutorial on that, including more advanced versions. But what I did here is just set up some hopping bonsai plots. Now, of course, I have the highest mulch, and I just did some diamond trees and some iron trees. So the reason why I set it up with the system, though, is because I wanted to show you. So if you look at the drive here, it only has two types of items. Well, the reason why it has any types of items at all is because these two aren't hooked up to the system. So what you're going to do, if you want to hook it up this way, because the black hole unit is to hold tons of an item, and I do mean tons. And you know, if you've already done your bonsai tree, which of course by now you would have, um, that you're going to have tons of this oak, you're going to have tons of the sticks, because all, well, almost all the bonsai trees produce that. Obviously not like the slime ones and that, but you know what I mean. So you're going to have tons of the oak logs and these sticks. So you're definitely going to want to set one of these black hole units up ASAP to at least store those. If nothing else, at least store those. But if you have these set up for your bonsai, then you don't have to worry about like the wooden storage units. They run out so fast, right? Well, with this you are going to have plenty of storage. And as you saw, they're not that expensive to make. So the way I have these set up is they're just hooked up to the system, but I have the storage bus on it. Now, the reason why, because if we look in here and we want to craft something, we can see them. But as 
as I showed you here, there's only actually two items in the storage unit. So there's only two items in here. The rest of them are completely stored in the black hole units. Now, if we wanted to connect these two, we just pop on the storage bus and put here. Now, one thing you will want to change is change that priority to at least plus one. And that tells it that you want it to send it to these versus the uh, versus in here. Now, what you could do is once you have these set up, you could actually take everything out of the system and you can see the numbers going up pretty fast here, but you can actually take everything completely out of the system here. So nothing will be stored in here. So if I went through and took out all these now, of course we have a lot. So this, this would take a while, but here's another cool thing. If you click on here and make sure you click on the unit, not the label. But if you click on here, you can actually tell it to either fill the your inventory with whatever items in here or take everything. So it will only take that one item, obviously, but it'll automatically put them all in there. So it makes it pretty fast. But for instance, if you needed a whole bunch of sticks for some reason, you could tell it to fill your inventory with it. Now, of course, I don't want sticks, so you just tell it to put it back in. But that's one of the really cool things about the black hole units. Now, here's the thing. With the controller, with one simple block, you can have 12 of these. Well, look how much room this takes up, right? And this is only 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is only 10 of these. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to pick all these up. We're going to pick up one of these storage buses because we're going to put them all in here instead. Now, the one thing to this is, and you don't have to have a full thing, the one thing with this, and I just broke, oh no, there we go. All right, so with this, you're obviously not going to see with the labels. But look how much less room it takes up. One simple block and you can hold 12. So that's how the controller works. Um, if you slap a label on here, it, it, yeah. I don't even think, yeah, you can't even slap a label on here. I was gonna say I've never tried, but you can't even slap a label on here. So you would actually have to look in here. You can hold shift and it'll tell you what they are. So iron leaves tells you how much is in there. Um, iron uh, acorns. You know, they're a little bit hard to read. That's sticks. So the only caveat to this is you won't be able to see the labels. So it depends how you want it. But if you want less storage space taken up, then you definitely want to go with the controller. And that's it. That is it for the black hole unit. Um, it's pretty simple to set up, but it's a lot of fun because then you can take everything and then you don't have to take up so much room in your drives. Of course, you're going to have other stuff in your drives because like the one below, I have tons of crap in there. But for stuff that you're going to have a lot of, you're going to want to put them in the black hole units. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Until next time, this is Lava Temptress. Don't get burned. Bye.